Okay, I'm going to give you a quick tour of Wolfram documentation and show you some of the things that are new in 11.3. And along the way, I'll give you some tips on how to use documentation effectively. So the documentation is available from the help menu. If you click Wolfram documentation, that brings up this root documentation page. And uh, this documents all of the functions that are available in Mathematica. Uh, 5,000 plus functions, and they're grouped according to uh, functional areas like graphs and networks, images, knowledge representation, and so forth. So if we go into one of these uh, categories, like sound, for example, you'll see several subcategories. Let's open up sound generation. And uh, this lists the cluster of functions uh, which have to do with sound and sonification. And let's open up one of those, play. Uh, one of the new things are these details thumbnails. Uh, in the past, the details section was uh, simply closed. Now these thumbnails give you some idea of what's in there. If you click this, uh, you can see the content. Um, some people are not aware that you can evaluate expressions directly in the documentation. Uh, so for example, uh, I'll evaluate this input and play that. And that, uh, since you can evaluate directly in the, in the documentation, you can go in here and, and play around with it and see how things work. So let's increase the frequency here, for example. Uh, so you can get a, a feeling for how the documentation, uh, or how the, the functions in Wolfram Mathematica work. And uh, you can do whatever you want on a documentation page. If you go back and revisit that page, you get a fresh page, it's all cleaned up, so you don't have to worry about uh, messing up your documentation by trying things out. I don't actually very often go to the root page. What I more often do is use the user assistance functionality. So for example, if I type in here, manipulate, you'll see that I get this pop-up, and you can go immediately to the documentation for manipulate by clicking on the information icon. Uh, or what I do even more often is as soon as I type a opening bracket, you'll see this chevron here. And if you click on that, it will show you all of the different ways of giving arguments to manipulate. And I use this often because uh, with 5,000 plus functions, it's often difficult to remember what the order of arguments is or what all the various argument combinations are. And in fact, you can just click one of these uh, options, and you'll get a template that you can quickly type in uh, code and use tab to tab to the next uh, placeholder, and there you've got to uh, manipulate very quickly. So let me show you one of the uh, new features of 11.3 in the documentation, and those are workflows. So let's go back to the root documentation page. These colored tiles up here document functions in the Wolfram language. And the gray tiles at the bottom document workflows. Workflows are units of work, how to get something done. They may use functions as well as interface elements, other pieces of software, command line, uh, whatever you need to get some unit of work done. So uh, like the function documentation, the workflows are divided into uh, functional categories using the Wolfram language, working with data, and so forth. Let's look at uh, working with graphics, images, and sounds. These are typical kinds of workflows, how to import an image into a notebook, how to customize charts, how to put graphics in a grid, uh, and so on. Let's look at a particular workflow, uh, Crop 2D Images. So each workflow is organized in steps, which are numbered. So here it's select the crop tool uh, by clicking on an image, drag out a cropping rectangle, adjust a cropping rectangle if necessary, crop the image, and so forth. So you can open this uh, in a separate window or sidebar, have it laying on the desktop like a, like a recipe book, like a cookbook, and just follow along uh, the workflow as you're trying to get something done. 
And you'll see that we have this new diagrammatic style of documentation that shows you the steps, uh, how to use the interface elements, and so forth. There may be more than one way of doing something, and in that case, we have these uh, alternative sections, which uh, are indicated by the ellipses. So there's the interactive way to crop images, as well as several programmatic ways you might want to crop to remove a uniform border, crop to a given size, crop trimming a given amount, and so forth. In addition to that, uh, we have these platform icons at the top. I'm currently on the desktop. This shows how to do these things on the desktop. There are sometimes differences between the desktop or cloud or mobile. And in that case, uh, if you go to these other tabs, it'll show you documentation specific to those platforms. All of our documentation is online as well as in the desktop. And you can get at it here, reference.wolfram.com. So it looks pretty much like it does on the desktop. Uh, let's take a look at uh, geometry um, ball, for example. Okay, you, You'll notice if you hover over an input in this documentation, it will show you a clipboard icon. And all you need to do is click, and it automatically copies that input uh, to the clipboard. And then you can go back to your desktop uh, application, paste, and immediately execute uh, that expression. So that makes it very convenient to use the online documentation in combination with the desktop um, or the cloud. So that's what's new in 11.3 uh, and Wolfram documentation. Thank you for your attention.